Right, it's uh, 22 degrees according to my thermometer. Started at 15 today. I um, decided to make a, a meal from leftovers. I've got some very stinky mackerel. Mm, it stinks. Some boiled potato. The uh, oil it came with. And uh, I'm using my ration of tomato puree, which I bought in times when tomatoes weren't rationed. Because rationing is the uh, future in our face. Not just in this country. I imagine it'll be in other countries too. There seems to be a, a war on food production at the moment. Never mind. Is that skin? It is skin. I don't really like skin. Not fish skin at least. But I'll eat it. If I had some lemons, I'd put lemon juice with this because... Do you know what? I don't have lemon juice, but I do have some vinegar. So I'm going to put some vinegar into this to try and do something about the smell. Because it is very fishy. It's smoked fish, you see, which I'm quite fond of. But God, does it stink. Now some people, namely everyone in my family, can't stand vinegar. But uh, I'm quite happy to have sour things, so I'll have vinegar. I'll have uh, lemon and lime juice. I quite like um, lime juice with rum and uh, then put some, um, oh, what do you call it? Sugar syrup with it. That's a nice drink, that is. Okay, let's go and get some vinegar. I think this is going to be palatable, and if not, I'm going to put salt on it. <laughs> Either way, um, it's a cheap meal. I've I've had the can for over a year now. And tomato puree was 34 pence, and potatoes, I don't know what. And the cooking heat, well, I have to have a fire going, because, like I said, it was 15 degrees, and it's still quite cold on my feet. So... Uh, Let's do, a sur Let's do some surface scanning. It says there, 28 degrees, not bad. And there, 26. Oh, 21 degrees on that. I don't believe that somehow. 37 over there. Mind you, it's probably because I'm cold, so... And it's registering about 59 degrees on the potato. I reckon if I let it cook in the uh, in the oil, I might get some. Uh, I'm not saying roast potato, but it might it might crust up a bit. One moment, please. Okay, back now. So first things first. Does that make a difference? Yes. Yes, I can smell vinegar now. That's good. Oh, it's nice and hot. In addition to that, I'll uh, and I've also got some all-purpose seasoning, which is a mixture of salt, onion powder, and what else is it? It is. Uh, paprika, dried onion powder, black pepper, coriander seeds, dried garlic, anti-caking agent, sodium dioxide, silicon dioxide. Ah yes, I always like to put a little bit of silicon dioxide in my food. Celery seed, colour paprika extract, cayenne pepper. Alright. Yummy, yummy silicon dioxide. I assume that means it's got sand in it. Yes. I like uh, chewing on a bit of sand. 
I assume it's quite a fine powder so it doesn't turn into grit on against the uh, teeth. Ah oh, man, that does smell better now, yes. Um, can't remember where I read it, but there was someone talking about how you get these earthy smells with fish and the use of acids like vinegar and lemon juice neutralize it. And it's one of those things which, whilst anybody that's done any modicum of cooking will say, oh yes, I know all about that. Um, it's still quite another thing when, um, when, uh, when what? Do you know, I'm quite hungry. Yep, I sure am. This is not the most appetizing of meals, I know that. But, do you know what? Is it cooked? Oh, that's surprisingly not horrible. <laughs> Uh, again, I'm I'm basing this on the initial impression of the smell was quite unappealing. Oh no, I was wrong. That's delicious. Mm. Not quite fish and chips, but uh, I certainly am going to enjoy this. Oh wow, that's quite spicy. Hmm. Wish I had some cheap cider to wash it down with. Maybe I've got some cheap beer. Right. Oh yeah. I got a fire lit. I used um, sticks. One of my wood shaving and wax uh, fire lighters. And um, yeah. Two, two logs, and I just put the uh, furnace out on it. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the air because I don't need it to be that hot. 150 degrees. Yeah, that's uh, that's good stuff. Mm. I like my tomato puree. Suddenly I don't feel so silly for... But there was a thing a few years ago where they say, oh, you know, limited number, no bulk buying. Because people are bulk buying the ultimate commodity of toilet paper, which, as we know, um, I guess not many people have lived as students, or maybe they have, and that's why they're bulk buying, bulk roll. Uh, but when the uh, buying restrictions were alleviated, I would just buy myself an entire tray of tomato puree, and because I'm always using it. Am I always using it? No, I'm not always using it. I do like eating it on its own. Also, a fork is insufficient for this. Um, I'm going to need a knife. And for that I shall need two hands. So, um, yeah, I'm going to need two hands. I do like potato. Potatoes, roast them, mash them, stick them in the stew. Mmm. Doesn't even need salt. Well, except for the salt which I added with the all purpose seasoning. Can I? No, no, again. Alright. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>